This was a three-year court battle, and what the jury found is that while the information is out there that could have saved their daughter's life, it's not commonly known. And the design defect that led to her death? Well, it's on almost every vehicle on the road. 16-year-old Rebecca Goodner was driving while her 19-year-old sister Sarah napped, reclined in the front passenger seat on their trip through Texas. When Rebecca started dozing off, she overcorrected, rolling their vehicle three times. Rebecca, thankfully, walked away with, with virtually no cuts, no bruises or anything, but Sarah didn't walk away at all. Rebecca suffered no injuries. Her airbag and seatbelt held her in the SUV. Sarah slid out from under her seatbelt and was ejected out of the back window and killed. Rebecca called her mother just after the crash. And um, she said, Mom, I can't find her, I can't find her. And I said, you can't find who? She said, I can't find Sarah. So I told her to calm down and I said, you know, what happened? And she told me that about the accident. She said, I just can't find Sarah, I can't find her. Police found Sarah yards behind the wreckage. They both had their seat belts on, and one walks away with a stiff neck, and the other one doesn't walk away at all. It was only after the death of their daughter did the Goodner family learn that automakers, dealers, and the National Transportation Safety Board and the National Highway Transportation Safety Authority knew that front lap shoulder belts do not work in most vehicles when seats are reclined past 45 degrees. It's the same as riding without a seat belt to ride in your car with it fully reclined even though your seat belt is buckled. This has been a known issue for well over 20 years. The family took the automaker Hyundai to trial. The family's attorney, Todd Tracy, presented 1988 memos showing that the safety boards knew about the ineffectiveness of seat belts when the seats are reclined. You're basically playing Russian roulette. When you, when you get in a vehicle and you recline the seat beyond 45 degrees. The safety board's own tests show that protection offered by a lap shoulder belt can be compromised if the user has the seat back reclined while the vehicle is in motion. It's a deadly well-kept secret because if you do not, if you have your seat reclined beyond 45 degrees, it is a potential lethal weapon waiting to blow up in your hands. They also say that in the owner's manual, there are three warnings to not ride with your seatbelt reclined past 45 degrees. However, in their commercials, they show people reclined in their seats, and the family says this is the problem. Automaker warnings need to be more obvious. Number one, until the auto industry addresses this issue and designs out this defect that's really a fatal defect, then people should know exactly how dangerous it is to recline in their seats to a point where their seatbelt is no longer effective. The Goodner family was awarded $1.8 million and a jury verdict, and they hope this sends a message to automakers and government safety agencies alike. None of these safety systems, whether it's seat belts or airbags or anything, are important until you get into a crash. But when you get into a crash, you expect them to work. This time it did. This time it did. Hyundai is considering whether to appeal the jury verdict in the case, now that the jury has linked the cause of death to a design flaw in the lap shoulder seat belts and how they're configured into cars safety systems. Ron and Libby, back to you.